Welcome back, everybody. We continue our series on summer adventures. Now, so far, we've taken you skydiving in Marion County and zip lining on Lookout Mountain. Well, tonight, we're hitching a ride on a glider over the Cherokee National Forest. Uh, drive on up to Benton, Tennessee for the Chilhowee Glider Port. A plane pulls you and your pilot up into the air, and then you soar over the foothills of the mountains in Polk County. And Sarah Arnold runs the operation. She joins us now to tell us how it works. I guess what most people want to know, I've never done this. What's it like when you're up there? Well, um... You know, I'd say that soaring is one of the most pure and free forms of flight. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever watched a hawk take off and start circling and they keep going on and on and on up, that hawk is harnessing the massive power that we have in nature that we call thermals. And right. in the gliders, we're able to do that. And let me ask you this. Uh, you had said to me before we did this interview that it's kind of like the sensation of being like a bird. Now, what do you mean by that when you say like a bird? Well, I guess what I'm thinking of is that birds migrate using the mountain ridges, and birds are always up there flying in the thermals with us. I've flown with uh, bald eagles, with red-tailed hawks, black vultures, just hordes of broad-tailed hawks in the fall, spring and the fall when they migrate. And so you get to be there right with them. The other day I was up there with a student, and we were 30 minutes just flying with this one um, Black vultures. It's incredible. Now, do they actually follow the glider as your guys are going? Because I think of it as like a fellow uh, airborne unit out there, or what? <laughs> well, we're actually looking for the same part of the sky, so we're looking at for the part of the sky that's that's rising, and so we're flying uh, with the birds, and it's natural that we wind up in the same place. And I'm sure if anybody knows which way to go in the air, it's probably a bird. They've been doing it for <laughs> thousands, thousands of years. So. I call them the professionals. <laughs> Leave it to the professionals. If you see a bird with you, you're in the right place. Now, since the early 1970s, Shilhawi Glider Port has offered rides, instruction, and towing. Now, what I was wondering, obviously, I've been in a hot air balloon, which is a lot different than this, and we had someone who was following along on the ground. You guys don't have to do that anymore because of technology. You don't have to have a truck following along as the glider's going, correct? Yeah, so I think you're, uh, you're referring to early glider racing back in the 70s. They used to do these straight-out distance right. tasks, and they would have you know, people following a along. A pace car almost, right? Yeah, it, it was amazing. Now we have the uh, GPS data recorders in the gliders and uh, trackers also, so we can see where the gliders are, and we always come back to the same place. We don't do those straight-out flights anymore. And what about people? Uh, can they go with a friend? Let's say that you just want her to go with your wife, you want to go with your husband. What about that? Absolutely. We have a glider that can carry uh, three people at a time. It's uh, typically two smaller people, a lot of parents and children, grandparents and children. Uh, couples will go in the back of the glider. Uh, a cozy ride for two is what we say. A cozy ride for two. Now, you're probably going to be one of the costs is the sailplane rides. The 20 minute flight is $99, where you can spend an entire half hour storing for a home, like $139, and two can ride together $159 for 20 minutes or $30 for 219 minutes. I mean, for $219. <laughs> Let me try that again. So two can ride together 20 minutes for 159 or 30 minutes for $219. It seems like it's a really neat opportunity to be able to see some of the beautiful area that we have in the Tennessee Valley. Isn't that true? Oh, absolutely. We're up uh, bordered by the Hiawassee River. We're looking right at the gap along the uh, edge of the Cherokee National Forest where the river actually comes out. So it's, it's just beautiful. I point out a lot of times, I point out the uh, fish traps in the river right there mm -hmm. in those corners and the Mennonite farm and it, it's spectacular. Well Sarah Arnold from the Chilhowee Glider Port, thanks for coming in and tell us what's going on in Benton. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Stay with us.